Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with YouTube Live broadcasting and the quick method of doing that. What we're going to do is show you a little bit about how to get started and how to actually make a full Google Hangouts on air live broadcast. So let's get started. Make sure that you're in your YouTube dashboard and make sure that you verify that your channel settings over here on the left have the live events marked on. If you don't have this option, it could be because you have strikes against you, but in my case it's already on. If not, you can just tell it to activate. Now, once you have that under your video manager, you should be able to then bring up the live events panel. And the live events panel will tell you if you have any new events. You can click down here or up in the corner for a new live event. This new live event, I'm gonna make sure it's a quick using Google Hangouts on air. And I'm gonna go ahead and title it, uh, getting started with YouTube Google Hangouts. And I'm gonna have it start now. Uh, the neat thing is, is when you are doing a quick one, you can have the option to do now, whereas otherwise, if you're doing a custom, you have to do a particular time. We'll get into that in another video. Now there's the description, and I'm gonna just, this is a uh, how to get started with a YouTube live broadcast using Google Hangouts on air. All right, and if you're gonna put some tags in here, you might do YouTube live. You might do uh, Google Hangouts on air, and we'll do tutorial. All right, and if you want, you can tell it to be public, and if you did that, it would notify your uh, subscribers. If you are unlisted, that means only people with the link would be able to watch it, and then there is private, which is what I'm gonna use today. The reason why I'm doing private is because uh, this is really for informational purposes. I'm not actually presenting anything. Next, we're gonna go to advanced settings. And this is where you can do things like tell it to allow comments. Uh, users can vote on comments. Users can vote ratings. Uh, you can actually put your actual video location. This will give you a uh, geographical location, like coordinates. And uh, you just go through the search parameters for that. Uh, you can tell it which language this is in. We're going to say it's in English. Uh, recording date is today. And you can actually have video statistics on watch page publicly visible. So you can actually have some of that show up. Here's a special one. Automatically make private once the event has ended. So while you're doing it live, uh, everybody can come in. But then as soon as it's done, it's a private video. So that's like you don't have to change that later. Uh, DVR is kind of cool. It's the ability to seek back while be will be available during the first four hours. So you can actually um, restart it's kind of neat. They do that on cable now. You can also have a broadcast delay, uh, 30 seconds, 60 seconds. Let's see what else we got here. You can have uh, in-video programming. Uh, this stuff will not be enabled because I have a private one. They won't do commercials for a um, private audience because nobody's really watching except for one person. There's also uh, this thing about caption certification, and this is just in case you are using content that's aired on television, you might have to have um, some uh, captions inside it. You can tell it to allow in bed, you can put an age restriction on it, all that stuff. Now, there's also a monetization feature, but I'm not gonna worry about that as this is a private one anyway. Next, uh, we're gonna go ahead and click the Go Live Now, which is going to start up Google Hangouts, and we'll get a little message saying, hey, let's get started. I've already got my camera set up, and so it should show that. Mine's going a little out of frame here, so I'm gonna bring that up. And there you go. So now you can see that I am down here in the corner, if you were watching online, although uh, on the interface here, we are actually only seeing um, a big picture of the camera, but it's actually down here as well. Let's go ahead and uh, wait here. We have the... Um, 
start broadcast is now shown up it means that I can click to start and it's also showing that I have some audio coming through so that's good um, that's these little green dots and let's go ahead and start the broadcast and I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna turn off this rate the video audio quality and now you can see that I'm working here and I am live broadcasting from Wade Hampton High School and so here we go what we're gonna do is see if we can check out some of the features you can turn off the camera and that's like now we're black and you see my channel logo there you can turn it back on there's also mute the microphone hey I want to say something that you can't hear and then you can unmute it now these things don't show up uh, all these graphics don't show up on the Google Hangout uh, you can invite people uh, this is a way to bring up uh, people to link. You can add invites to people you know. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. We have uh, bandwidth usage. So this is going to be automatically HD because I have high uh, bandwidth. Okay. Um, if if not, you just disable the HD. Under settings, this is where you can choose things like cameras. If you have multiple multiple cameras coming up, you can bring them up. I have Wirecast installed, so I have a virtual camera. I have microphones here. The microphone I'm using is my, let's see, let, should be my Yeti. Um, and default speakers are coming through my Yeti as well. You can also um, have it voice or studio. And it'll actually talk about the quality after we're done. So um, basically it uh, sends out how we did. Um, let's see. Now there's some other things we want to show you. On the left here we have a chat. And the chat allows you to chat and talk to the group while you're working. Uh, then we also have, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then we also have the uh, screen share. And this is like, you know, uh, desktop. You'll see your desktop. So when I click that, I am presented and it actually popped up on my second desktop. I'm going to show you it. Um, is asking me, do I want to use my full screen one, full screen two? Uh, just my Photoshop uh, page over here. So if I just wanted to broadcast Photoshop over, I could. Um, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll choose which one to do. Let's do that one there, and we're going to say Start Screen Share. Now, what happened there is you'll see my uh, screen coming down over here, and let's see. I'm going to just make some changes here. We'll just show you the before and the after on my uh, image here. So there's a little bit of, of slowdown with it, but that's okay. I am recording my screen as well as broadcasting at the same time. So that's a lot of stuff to go on. And so you can see what I did to fix that picture and uh, made that one a lot nicer. And to stop the screen share, you just click back on the screen share button and I pop back. And the entire time I show up down here in the corner. So you can hide from broadcast or show your profile uh, logo or mute. So you can actually not always be on the screen if you don't want to. Uh, let's see. Um, the capture, that's just this um, window here. You can bring up cameraman where you can uh, adjust adding other uh, cameras from other people. So like they can... Um, join your broadcast and come on in and let's see I'm gonna close cameraman and then we come over to the control room and we have some cool things in the control room let's take a look we've got um, over here where you can adjust some of the audio settings you can um, turn off the camera there so it does the same thing as what's over here on the left um, let's go ahead and close that and bring up the Google effects which is a little add-on and you might have to download it might take a second to download and you can see that, hey, I've got a couple things going on. Let's see, I've got a background. We can change that background. And depending on you know the consistency or difference of you versus what's behind you, you'll get a better um, background. Um, you can just blur it, um, which is you know not a bad idea, especially if you have something odd on the screen behind you. You can blur the background, and that cleans things up. Uh, let's see, we also have. Um, I have some glasses on. Let's go ahead and change it to a snorkel. I think that's much better, don't you think? And it follows your, your eyes using a, um, 
algorithm. I actually found a PDF the other day that taught how they determined where your eyes connect to the object and how to actually do that. I, it was pretty neat. You can add extra apps down here at the bottom. Uh, bring up YouTube or or some of these other programs like um, a remote desktop so you can actually uh, show somebody else's screen while you're in a video call because you know Google Hangouts is not just for uh, doing a, a live broadcast it's also for just calling your best buddy so you can actually help them out by doing a remote desktop and you can control their computer and help them out it's pretty cool and so anyway there's um, other things you can add in let's go ahead and uh, turn off my my features here um, and now I'm back to normal mode and what we're going to do is go ahead and close out this feature for today and save it into our YouTube channel. And so I'm going to hang up and end the broadcast. And it's going to then tell me that it's over. And we will then see this in our video manager. Let's check our uploads here. And it's not here yet, but it will show up there after a fashion. Now, if you go back to live events and it's like, whoa, where's my event I was just in? Well, you're viewing just the upcoming events. If you say completed, it'll show you any completed ones. And here's that video that we just had. And so it might take a few moments before that comes up, but we'll go ahead and pause that for now. And that's it for this video.